Yo, what's good everybody, CBD and Blayla Vlog and welcome back once again and today, today, wait a minute, first of all, Street of Dallas Salaam, Gaira Mandala, contribute a lot to this show because I'm drinking this water from his bottle right now, so what are you waiting for, go and buy some stuff. Anyway, today, for the first time ever, I'm gonna do a video of tutorial. So, welcome guys. Enjoy the intro. Yeah, so, as I said, today, um, I'm going to do the tutorial for the first time ever. And tutorial I'm going to do the basic application of Adobe Lightroom. And I'm going to show you um, by using only three pictures, your project in your capture there um, from Arusha Coffee Lodge. Actually, it's a food photography. I'm going to show you how I edit them in Adobe Lightroom. So stick with me. I'm going to show you how I edit them in Adobe Lightroom. Yeah, let's get started. Um, so I'm at my PC right now, and this is the layout of Adobe Lightroom in Avonekana. Um, to import pictures, all you can do is just go to them pictures, you can select them, and these are those three pictures, I just wanna edit them with you. Drag and drop on your application. Um, Zita check, kama ivi, just click import, uh, and immediately they'll be imported. Select the first picture, and then go to the develop. Ah, so from this picture, oh, I love what I see. This picture was good. Um, so first thing is first. Um, usually when I put up check white balance coming cosal. Now how to balance the white balance? Use this tool right here. Me and call white balance selection when you put the mouse over it. Over it. Uh, you select. Go to the place where you think is more white. For example, for me, when your coffee up and on is very white. Select. You see the white balance automatically changes. So. That is the first thing. From there now, we can edit. So, for example, if you need a little bit of warm, temperature is a place for you and tin. Here's where you can play with the white balance and everything, but I love the image with the way it is. So, the second thing is exposure. Um, exposure in sana, especially katika food, you need your food to pop the color. In I tell you you exactly yani what to expect So usually it gives exposure kidogo around 50. I think it's good. And highlight um tashusha kidogo. Yeah, I think that is enough. Shadows, the shadows, same as shadows in eye. Na for the whites, it's a shaky dog. Uh, actually, in, yeah, it's a pandisha. It is a kung aza. Inona whites, it's a pandisha. Inona vizuri and blacks, it's a pandisha. Kid dog, right there. Uh, from here, I'll come to the clarity. Yeah, it's a shaky. It's a pandisha. Kid dog. Ili nyesa kupata some details. I will, I really love to get some details in my shots. For example, you can see this coffee, the bubbles. You know, the details. Even if you have a cake. So now, Nani, you see the details of the cake. So I really love this. So I think from there, I'll be done with the uh, basic panel, and then I go to the caves. Another thing, Ambo is most most underestimated by many people there. Nani, curves. Curves are things I underestimate. Like me, through curves, the ones that are easy highlights, na shadows, bizui, and usually. Kuna option B kaka ni caps. Ukidia kuni yala motona unezo kwa edit points kwa kutumia highlight, light, dark and shadows. Na ukwik this tena point unezo kwa edit kwa kutumia points. Ambao, I usually love that. Kwa hiyo, nitachagua hapa, nitajua kwenye points and I really like to make an S kind of curve. Kwa hiyo, nitachagua hapa chini kabisa, nitabandisha kidogo. As you can see, the color nazidi pop out. And hapa, nitaishusha kidogo kwa kwa shadows flani. Na upper cut in the patch of in the middle. Uh, this point in the pandisha juki dog in and upper and shaky dog. So, as you can see, I've tried to make some shape like S curve. Yeah, and this really helps 
guys the curve yeah uh, go start more about curves curves zisaidia sana katika kuweka rangi ya picha kuwepo katika certain look and it uh, look amazing anyway after the curve which i usually like to play with is the hsl color hii ndo pano ambayo inaweza ika jenga picha yako in general au ikaribu kutokana na utakavyo uweza kucheza nayo vizuri kwa hiyo na katika food photography siri ya kwanza uspende sana kubadilisha rangi halisi ya kitu sababu rangi halisi ya kitu ki change unabadilisha maana hicho kitu kwa hiyo as you can see the coffee is brown and there is white the rose is red kuna green kwa hiyo no matter how you affect don't do too much effect on the image when it comes to food so i'll go to you and i'll start to play with the oranges ambazo oranges manyingo zina affect the tone and in this picture as quick as i can see this brownish in the coffee itakuwa affected by oranges in the table so you see kwa mfano kienda hivi sunaona kwenye table kumekuwa green and kwenye coffee kumekuwa green as i told you kwa be careful the color which you put here because ndo either unaweza ukajenga picha yako au karibu kwa hiyo for me I will go with it um, around I think positive 9 is good for me. I love what I see right now. Unaweza kuzoom pia kuangalia vizuri like okay if you are happy with it. Yeah, I love this brownish in it. Kwa hiyo it's so good. Um and so far yeah, I love what I see and also Um I got saltation from there I think I don't need to pray much saltation as you can see the loss is red but uh, and I use a little bit of that red uh kwa nini sababu my main focus ni nataka mtu ataka angalie picha is focus katika coffee na cake so the red not as much count I use a little bit like ni sio sana nikapata hapo alisia kwa hiyo nataka red flani ambayo kwa mbali lakini still is there Still affect sana. Nitaongeza a little bit of orange ili my brown in the coffee pop out and a little bit of yellow so I can give it some kind of you know yellow feeling a warm feeling. And after that I go to the luminance and the reds does it pop pop kidogo around 9. The oranges um does it work as near around positive 9. And I think from here I'm done because so far what i see from here i love and then after do, da, done with this i'm going to the spritting tone spritting tone this is among kongo mimi naona guys among very important things sabu through this unaweza kaipa picha yako moody moody like you know unaweza kaipa picha yako kind of like this kind of warm going kind of this kind of cold depending on the color which you are put up to it to look so you unanielewa Oh, I might talking too much. Anyway, let me show you. So for example, for the highlights, it affects highlights part, na it affects shadows part. So for the highlights confirm nikipandisha hapa. The moment you press saturation, so unaona kwamba the image is changing, inakupa kuna this feeling kwamba kenda yellow, so unaona. You see those color nikiwa na change. Yaani kuna feeling flani inakupa. Kwa hiyo for me, napenda kucheza around the yellow, this kind of warm like feeling au unaweza kabinya hapa kwenye this box of color and you choose the color for yourself for example when it comes to coffee i love also to put the kind of color which is like brownish brownish for the the one which goes with the coffee uh, if you understand somewhere around um there and from here nakuja na use a little bit of saltation so as to balance the color and the reality of the place you know so for example here when i zoom in a little bit um yeah like the details in the table the flowers yeah that's good and from downside from the shadows um i think i would love to put it some kind of little bit of um yellow like which is going to somehow green i think is going to be better here yellow and green somewhere around there yeah i think this is good according to my eye so far so 
Yeah, and to see before and after, do you see this two Y? If you click them, they're gonna show you side by side. Here is before and here is the after. As you can see, there is a major change uh, in this. The before shot and the after shot. As you can see now, my image is more brighter and have this kind of warm feeling. Uh, the one which I was telling you about. So, so far, I think I like what I see. So, yeah, I'm going to turn to uh, back to my main image. And another thing which is important is detail. If you want your image of this kind of details, but for me, I'm going to add just a little bit of sharpness, not much. So my image could be a little bit sharp. And from here so far, I don't think for this image, I think this is it. I love what I see so far. So I think I'm gonna, I use a little usual you have to use two applications, but this second step I'm gonna show you another day by using Adobe Photoshop. Uh, this I can draw my do, 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 kama higher katika picture, kama higher katika picture. And Photoshop, though you can also still do in writing, but I don't prefer that much. So, so far, I love the look of this image, and I think this is fine enough. So, for the next image, what you can do, you can try to apply the previously setting if it can work for them. Yeah, for example, if the previously see uh, for this image. The previous setting are so good, but as you can see in this part, there's so much of yellowish. So you can deal with that uh, um, slowly as you like. So for example, for the yellow part, I can go from the saltation to reduce a little bit of yellow. And also oranges, too much oranges, a little bit of oranges. Yeah, the green part, I would love to add a little bit. As you can see, the leaves are here, which are green. I think they're gonna pop out a little bit if you play with the greens. Yes, the yellows in this picture. I don't want them to pop so much. Yeah, somewhere around there. And I can see the whites a little bit too high, so I'm gonna reduce it a little. Yeah, as you can see now, the image is coming around. You see that. Yeah, the shadows, there's so much shadow in this image, I'm gonna add them a little bit. I'm gonna increase the shadows a little bit and I'm gonna reduce a little bit of in this image. Yeah, and I think that is... And for the last one also, I can apply the previous setting. Wow, this is a beautiful image. Yeah, as you can see, a little bit of exposure. A little bit of the highlight, just a little bit there, and a little bit of whites in this image. So, like, yeah, and I think this is it. So, these are my three images, and that are my final results. So, thank you guys for being with me, and I think this is it for me today with the tutorial. Hopefully you've enjoyed. It's my first tutorial, so please comment down below if you love anything about it or come on to Dragon Nikibisho Chichote. I suck at this, so 